So I've been asked a few times about what are the differences between flux cord and MIG welding. So first let's start out with flux core welding. You're going to be using a self-shielded wire such as the Hobart Fab Shield 21B. You are also going to be making sure that your machine is polarity is set correctly. You're going to want an electrode negative polarity. Some machines will change automatically for you, others you will need to mechanically do that inside. Uh, you will also need to use a V-neural drive roll. And if you want to take the original nozzle off um, so you don't get that all full of spatter, um, you can purchase separately this ceramic nozzle from Hobart. Um, the technique for uh, flux core welding, you're going to start your weld pool and you're going to drag that backwards. So like they say, if there's slag, you drag. So get that started and drag that weld pool backwards. So now let's talk a little bit about MIG welding. With MIG welding, you're going to use a solid wire, such as the ER70S-6 from Hobart here. With that, you will also need a regulator, a gas hose, and the shielding gas. And again, you're going to want to make sure your machine polarity is set correctly. Uh, for this, you'll be set to electrode positive. For the drive roll, you're going to use a smooth V-groove, and your technique will change a little bit. Running with solid wire, you're going to get your weld pool started, and then you're going to push that pool instead and keep that shielding gas out front. When choosing which process to use, also consider your environment. If you are outdoors and it's uh, windy, you're going to want to use the flux cord wire. Uh, MIG welding requiring the shielding gas, it's just going to blow away, so it's much better suited for indoor applications. These are some of the main differences between flux cord and MIG welding. With this information, hopefully this will help you choose which process to use on your next project.